Greetings, what's good alchemist? This is your girl Iris, the womb alchemist. Welcome back to another video. Um, I'm glad if you are new, I'm glad that you made it to this video. If you are not new, welcome back subscribers. Um, please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Alright, um, yeah, so today I want to bring y'all a message. This is a channeled message that I received during my dream state, okay? Um, I had a dream, and in the dream, I was a marine biologist. Okay, so random, right? Um, <laughs> but basically, in the dream, I was a marine biologist, and one of my co-workers, who's, who's also working in the lab, um, she, they, it was like a group of people, but one person specifically, uh, they knew that I was feeling really down. I think I had gone through something or I don't know, I had been moping around or something. I don't know. But uh, she took me to this part of the lab where there was marine animals in different tanks. So like they had different environments in different tanks. Okay, these were really tall tanks and you could see through them. They were, they were marine animals. Okay, different types of marine animals, marine environments. And so um, she was like, you know, you, you'll feel better. Just hang out here, you know, look at the animals, um, you know, enjoy yourself or whatever, right? But I was really sad. So in my dream, I take the time to, you know, kind of look around and be, be there. But then I leave. And when I leave the area, so the marine lab is kind of like, it's one of those areas where it's, it's like, um, half half the half of the marine lab is on a is on good territory, meaning like affluent territory, and then the other part of the lab is on like kind of like a lot of um, <laughs> like it's just okay. I'm gonna just keep it real. It's like in the ghetto. Like part of it is in the ghetto. Part of it is in like a slum type of area. You know, there's places like that where like you just walk down a different block and bam you're in the hood all of a sudden it's kind of like that so i walk out the back entrance and bam i'm in the hood um so while i'm in the hood you know i'm still feeling down and sad and stuff while i'm in the hood i um encounter these drug dealers and they ask me if i want to purchase some drugs and um, i end up purchasing some drugs and i believe in the dream that I had purchased some uh, crack. Yeah, like like something really hardcore. Some really hardcore drug, like it was, it was a rock, okay? And I didn't see myself taking it, but what happened after that was I saw a timeline of myself. So, so, you know, when I, when I had bought the drug, I was like completely fine. I looked young, looked vibrant. You know, my skin was nice, my hair was nice. Um, but then as time went on, what I was seeing was that like I started deteriorating my, I, I lost my job. Okay, first of all, I lost my job. And then I remember just being so hooked on the substance. I, I became very, very, um, like just, just totally, completely about the substance. My life had gone from being sad, depressed as a mean, as a marine biologist, okay, to like, only thinking about crack, only thinking about drugs. I don't even know if I'm supposed to say that word on YouTube, but um, yeah, only thinking about this substance, okay? And um, I saw my, my skin start to like sag and get wrinkled. My hair um, became like uh, shorter, but not like short and a cute, like a cute cut, or you know how people cut their hair in cute short ways, but it became like, um like if somebody had like pulled my hair out that's what it looked like it was just all over the place i was all over the place i was wearing like a black t-shirt i had lost a lot of weight i just had lost myself okay and there are a lot of people who can take hardcore uh man-made drugs and still go about their life like people can be functional addicts you know no matter what it is but i'm i'm talking about I'm talking about man-made stuff, like if it's powdered, if it's in crystal form, okay? I'm talking about like real drugs, pills. Um, that's what I'm, that's what I was shown in the dream, okay? It wasn't talking about 
uh, Mary Jane or alcohol, okay? I'm talking about, like, really, like, you got to make it in the lab. Like, somebody got to put chemicals together and flip it and, you know what I'm saying? All that, <laughs> all that stuff. All right, so I watched myself completely deteriorate and it made me so sad in a dream to, like, look at myself in that state. I was in a complete daze, okay? I had no idea. At that point, I was doing... Um, I didn't see myself doing this stuff, but I knew that I would do, I felt it. I knew I would do anything for that substance. I was like, I was ready to do sexual acts for that substance in order to get money just to buy it, you know? And it, and it, after the dream was over and I woke up, it put me in a really like sad state, but I also felt like I had to make a video. Now, the, this video is focused on people who are really, really depressed, okay, really sad, and who have been depressed for a really long time, whether their life is not going right, whether, you know, you have a loss, you lost somebody, financial issues, it doesn't matter the reason why you're depressed, okay, you can be depressed, honestly, because your diet, your the way your lifestyle isn't, isn't you know, uh, supporting your emotional body okay you can be depressed because you're eating certain types of foods that cause chemical imbalances in your brain all right it doesn't always have to be like something happened to you all right because even if because things are going to happen to us everyone has that no matter if you're rich poor affluent uh you know from the hood it doesn't matter things are always going to happen to you it's not that the grass is greener on the other side okay because everyone has their problems trust me it's how you face your problems if you're able to face your fears head on okay if you're able to self-regulate some people who are in a weak spiritual state they'd rather turn to something external to them to numb the pain because it's just too much for them to bear, all right? We have to, um, you know, and I'm not, I'm not, you know, I've had times, I'm not, I'm not better than anybody else, okay? I've had times where um, I've used, I've used things external to myself to regulate To regulate my emotions as well okay um, anything can you can become addicted to anything literally okay even exercise you can become addicted to exercise anything that takes your mind off of uh, whatever it is that you're not trying to face can become an addiction okay but that's the point that I'm trying to convey here is that one nothing is forever okay no feeling no emotion that's why it's called an emotion. It's in motion, energy in motion. Okay, so it will pass even if it lingers there for, you know, a month, two months, a year. It will always pass. Okay, but how quickly it passes depends on you. Okay, you can take that energy and transmute it. Okay, which is not as hard as it may seem okay the difference between somebody you know you got two siblings who grew up with an alcoholic father one sibling and i'm sure you guys have heard this one sibling decides that you know they're going to be an alcoholic too the other sibling decides that they're never going to touch alcohol okay it's up to you to transmute that energy okay your destiny is completely and utterly up to you you have free will um, so my message, this message is also for young people. I feel like I have to address this message to young people, um, who are very impressionable, okay, who think that it's, um, a good idea to use man-made chemicals, okay, in order to suppress their emotions, in order to get through hard times, tough times, um, you know, we sometimes we romanticize these things, like, like, like even romanticizing alcoholism. You know, like that's not no, because that can really take you down a really terrible path. Okay, and it will you will dive deeper into depression. None of that, anything that numbs you, is not a solution. Okay, facing your fears head on. 
that's the real solution. And how do you do that? A lot of internal work. How do you do that? A lot of alone time, a lot of meditation, a lot of understanding yourself, a lot of reflection, okay? Past self-reflection, okay? I think that there's so many tools that we can use if you're the type of person who needs to talk it out, okay? You can literally you know, talk it out with, you know, they have therapists, they have counselors, uh, you know, so many people out there for you free of charge, so many strangers out there for you, okay, they have hotlines that you can call, all you have to do is Google, but, um, you know, the message that I want to drive home here is that it's never ever a good idea to rely on drugs to solve your problems for you, okay, and, and I feel like we think that certain types of people don't have problems, like people who have money, which is a huge misconception. Everyone has problems. Everyone feels those emotions, okay? It's just that a lot of people are accustomed to not showing them. Our society shuns, um, you know, makes us feel ashamed for feeling really down and depressed and sad because our lives aren't going the way that we planned, okay? There's so many expectations put on us. But a lot of us are here to do spiritual work, right? But if if you're not seen as successful, if you don't go to college, if you don't go to, uh, you know, if you don't get your master's and your PhD, if then you feel like you're less than somebody, that can really, that can cause some huge imbalances, right? But But really, you're destined to be a spiritual leader, but that's not looked at as uh successful to the society right so you know we have to really do the inner work and find what fits us okay um like for myself for example um like i thought i was gonna be a doctor i thought i was gonna have my md i thought i was gonna have a practice um but spirit totally uh, that course was totally blocked because um and the way, the way that it was blocked is it looked like depression for me in school. It looked like anxiety for me. It looked like I was having all of these different emotions while in college, in school. And I was so turned off by the process of school because school's not really, this is, this is another story for another time, but uh, the way that they set up school right now, it's not really to create leaders who, are, who can excel in their fields. All right. Like, for example, I thought doctors healed people. Once I started really getting into uh, my pre-med and I shadowed doctors and stuff, I really saw that all they did was prescribe medication. Okay. And they didn't really take the time to heal people. They didn't take the time to explain to people how important diet and exercise are. Um, Just so many red flags. And I was like, I don't I don't see anybody being healed. Doctors are really quick to pick up a knife, to pick up a, you know, some type of tool to do surgery. They're really quick to do that, okay? And there's a reason behind that, but that's another video for another time. But anyway, I just say that, um, you know, during that time, I, I did I did pick up the bottle. I was, I was drinking, okay? I'm not better than anybody else. I had my moments where I succumbed to temptation, okay? And I numbed my pain with wine i drank wine like every night and it didn't seem like a big deal at the time but it was a manifestation of me suppressing my emotions me not wanting to come to terms with the fact that i don't belong the road the path that i was on i did not belong on whatsoever you know and and when you're young and you don't have enough experiences uh and your whole life you've been relying on adults to guide you and show you the way and these adults are telling you this is their path this is the way this is the way to be successful um but it doesn't align with your higher self you feel lost you feel like there must be something wrong with me right we start to have all of these negative thoughts and, and then those negative thoughts become Um, our inner voice and then our inner voice guides our actions okay and then we start making wrong choices we start doing things uh, acting out of our trauma wanting the wrong type of attention okay um yeah like numbing my pain with alcohol definitely led me to do a lot of other stuff that 
you know, abusing my body in other ways. Okay. Um, so, so yeah, that's, that's the message that I want to convey to y'all. Okay. If y'all can really understand, it's never a good idea, um, to pick up any substance. All right. In order to escape. However, specifically, I'm talking to those people who are considering, you know, doing doing that, you know what I'm saying? Nose candy, uh, any type of like crystals, pills, those are really, really damaging and they deteriorate you very quickly. Alcohol and Mary Jane, I'm not saying by any means, okay, I already made a video about marijuana and how damaging it is to smoke, right? Any type of smoke, cigarettes, marijuana, whatever, right? But with alcohol and Mary Jane, at least those those substances take a little bit longer to do um, a large amount of damage. Still a no-no, okay? I want to be clear. I, I know somebody is going to misconstrue this message. I'm not saying do those drink or smoke Mary Jane, okay? But what I'm saying is whatever you do, whatever you do, don't do don't do anything that has been made in a lab for sure okay and i'm talking about even stuff that is used as medication is used as healing like you know morphine or um what is it this um yeah opioids and stuff like that no 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 crack nothing you buy on the street nothing you can get in the hospital none of that please Okay, there's always a better way and I know it might be corny to somebody, but this is the message that I received because um, I believe that we're going, so there's going to be some very dark times coming ahead of us, okay, but there's also going to be some very good times ahead of us. It's kind of depends on you and what frequency you gravitate towards okay so for a lot of people um a lot of people might be experiencing lower vibrational frequencies because those lower vibrational frequencies are becoming more prominent becoming more dominant because it's a it's a spiritual war now okay um you know people are fighting for their mental people are fighting for their spirit their soul here okay so whatever frequency and also the, the frequencies are getting higher so um you know a lot of people are in between as well so if if certain vibrations are getting higher they're they're getting higher for for and it's going to be more difficult for people to reach is what i'm saying okay so vibrations are getting higher all right there are some people like myself who are really happy who are really joyful okay but spirit already told me that i'm gonna watch a lot of people perish all right don't be part of that group of people that perish because the vi just as much as the spirit the, the vibration is getting higher the vibrations are also getting lower all right temptation is going to be at an all-time high that's what i'm trying to say here all right, so um, I will definitely be praying for the collective, okay? I will definitely hold y'all in my heart. Um, it is true, though, the the weak, the weak will, the weak in weakness of spirit will have you very, um, very vulnerable out here, okay? Because that's just, that's just the gap is getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, okay? So you have to choose which vibration you want to um, embody, all right? Um, and we're also coming into a time where it's going to be really hard once you get into a, a low vibration, it's going to be hard for you to come out, all right? So just don't start. Don't go for it, all right? If you feel that you are really down and you are being highly tempted, okay, and there's somebody around you who has stuff, who has drugs, okay, easily accessible to you, you're going to have to be very, very strong, very strong. Remove yourself from people, okay? This is a time where we should be going inwards anyway, all right? It's very important to go inwards. Remove yourself from people who are tempting you, okay? Save yourself, literally. You are important enough. This is this is about self-worth, okay? It's about 
whether or not you think you're worthy, okay, this world will make you feel like shit. It'll make you feel like you're not worthy of your desires, of your wants, of, of being happy, of being whole, okay? It'll make you feel like you deserve the trauma that happened to you. It'll make you feel like you deserve your parents, uh, you know, talking to you like shit, uh, treating you like shit, okay? Or your caregivers, whoever raised you, all right? But that's not true. It's all an obstacle. It's all an obstacle for you to overcome, okay? The expectation is that you are going to overcome. The truth is that you will overcome. For those of you watching this video, you will overcome. It's part of the plan, all right? And as you hear my voice, as you listen to this message, you are already overcoming. You are already healing. You are already waking up, okay? So, I love you all. Like I said, I will hold you in my heart, in my prayers, okay? Um, you got this, all right? You're on the right side. You're on the right side of, of the movement, okay, on the vi of the vibration scale. You're on the right side, all right? Um, just hold tight, okay, because everything's falling into place. It might seem dark, but that's because you're a seed and you're getting ready to bloom, all right? So I love you so much, and I will see you in the next video, all right, healers? Peace.